My mother used to tell me there was no such thing as monsters. There was nothing hiding in the dark. Nothing was going to jump out of the shadows. I wish I could have told my child the same thing. But by the time I was grown, I'd seen too many monsters. I knew they were real. There was one thing I didn't know. It started with something like thunder. I don't know how else to describe it, because it was a sound no one had ever heard before. It was the sound of a Superman breaking the jaw of a god. Darkseed's invasion lasted a week. The Justice League battled tirelessly for everyone. They kept most of the fighting to unpopulated areas. They saved millions, swarms of apocalyptic par demons were repelled. Deities were driven back. And the ultimate evil was stopped in his tracks. You will leave Earth, Darkseid. Now! It was, perhaps, the League's finest hour. It was their last together. You will not return to our world. Say it. The lasso of truth compels you. Yeah. It would probably be easier for him to speak if Superman hadn't just broken his mouth. I will not return. I have no need. The truth is, I have what I came for. You know, I thought that was going really well, right up to that last ominous sentence. Anyone know what that was about? What is it? Cyborg is missing. Last I saw, he was chasing a swarm of par demons out of Metropolis. He could still be. He's not in Metropolis. He's not on Earth. What? How do you know? I have a location monitor running in one of his subroutines. You what? He's a walking weapon with apocalyptic technology running through his body and his brain, which we've barely scratched the surface of understanding. It would be irresponsible to allow that kind of unknown power to move freely. Did Vic know you were tracking him? So, you secretly hacked our friend. Wait, are you tracking any of us? Do you have a tracker on Superman? Hmm. No. Is anyone else concerned about that slight pause there? Leaving aside the morality of this for a moment, how do you know Vic isn't on Earth? My tracking system has a two light year reach. Cyborg isn't in our solar system. Then, where is he? Apocalypse. Darkseid didn't invade our world to conquer. The Earth was nothing to him. He came for something else. The anti-life equation. Do you know of it, Michael Man? No. It is the end of all free will. For the one who controls it. It is the domination of all sentient races. Yeah? Well, I try not to king shame anyone. Almighty Darkseid. Almighty Darkseid? Why is it that gods always need people to suck up to them? It's a little sad that an all-powerful being needs constant reassurance. Almighty Darkseid possesses half of the anti-life equation. He believed the other half would manifest on your world. He was, of course, correct. He found it. Where? In you. Were you? Were you just waiting in the corridor to make a good entrance? Desaad. Remove his tongue. The mother box will add your half of the equation to his system, Dark Sight. But there is a problem. <coughs> Merging the anti life equation with the digital and the physical without destroying the host is unsound if he is killed by the process. The equation will cease to exist. Then we need to control Victor Stone's end. I will summon death. Dark Seed called, and death came. Black Racer, I have need of you. Later, after his system had grown him a new tongue, Cyborg explained that this was their mistake. Decide. They took a piece of death and changed the equation. This was the corruption. My head, it's in. Dark side. It is time for God to die. No! The torturer, Desaad, was immune to disease. But realizing what he'd unleashed, he tried to send the equation away. He sent Cyborg away, but it was too late. Their infected ruler was a slave to a new anti-life equation. Dark side attacked. He leaped into the fires of Apocalypse, into the world's core. 
and unleashed. No, Darkseid is. Darkseid was. Earth, Metropolis. Whoa. As soon as the cyborg returned to Earth, his system was automatically online. And the anti-life equation leaped from its patient zero to the internet. Nah. Cyborg tried to firewall himself, cutting himself off from the world. But the damage was done. The anti-life equation began to spread as a techno-organic virus. It attacked through social media, as a disease that bridged the digital divide to the biological, and infected the minds of all who saw it. The infected mindlessly shared, messaged, and tweeted the equation. As it took hold, desperate, frightened people tried to tear the equation from their heads. And then they were enslaved.